up everyone welcome back i am fathy and today we're talking electric files specifically why i don't use them um, it's going to be a really quick video but it's definitely one that's really important especially for nail technicians out there who immediately go to the electric file and rely on it for their manicure process from beginning to end uh, so first what is an e-file it is a file that uses electricity so you don't got to use the good old-fashioned elbow grease and how is it used it's used to file down and buff product maybe like acrylic or gel full sets um, it's used to completely remove product off of your nail bed, even gel polish. It's also used to clean up cuticle and remove dead skin from around the cuticle. Now, why I don't use electric files. If you've already seen my videos, especially the first few videos where I go over the manicure process, or if you follow me on Instagram, you know that my goal is natural nail health. So anything that I do in the shop, if it's not benefiting your health of your nails, your cuticle, the growth, the strength, and it's not something that I want to offer in the shop. Um, and when I started using electric files and I started seeing the differences in clients who get their nails done with someone who uses an e-file versus my clients who don't use an e-file at all, I do everything manually, there is such a huge difference in the look of that skin and the nails a week, two weeks after the manicure gets done. Normally with e-files, I notice that the skin tends to get a lot drier, the cuticle will overgrow or become really, really thick, and just within a week or so of getting the manicure, sometimes just within the first three days, you already have all this skin that kind of starts growing and sticking out everywhere. Um, and just from what I know about your skin and how it responds, uh, skin is a live thing. And if you're irritating your skin, it's going to fight back. Even if you're using the right bits that are meant specifically to be you know, safer and more gentle on the skin or the nail bed, if you're constantly irritating that skin even gently you don't have to break skin or bleed for it to get irritated but just that vibration the irritation on the skin that is healthy when you're cleaning it up the skin is going to react to it and and in my opinion that's why within a couple of days of clients who are getting their nails cleaned up with an e-file they have very dry skin their cuticle tends to overgrow be very thick and sometimes stick to the nail a significant amount and they'll also most commonly have these little pieces of skin that are peeling up now my biggest and most important step in any manicure is the cuticle care and if you haven't already seen the cuticle care video it had to have been maybe like the fourth or fifth video i posted make sure that you watch that i promise you can mess up every Every other part of the manicure but if you get the cuticle care right your clients are not only going to notice that that skin stays a lot healthier but they're gonna see a significant change in the strength and the growth of their nails specifically there's something magical about properly caring for the cuticle that just makes a night and day difference and I can tell you it's been four and a half years that I've been doing this professionally and doing manicures to other people, every single one of my clients has improved nail health, strength, growth, and cuticle health. It's a guarantee. I tell my clients within three appointments, they're gonna notice the difference, but the truth is after their very first appointment, they notice a night and day difference. And on top of that, their manicure lasts and looks super, super cute. So, you know, yay for me. But when it comes to the cuticle care, I explain to my clients all the time, that is literally the most important part. And if you see, and I'll make sure to post a couple pictures, maybe my sister's already doing it right now. If you look at my clients two, three, and four weeks, sometimes five weeks after they get their manicure, their cuticles look healthy. They look like they just got cleaned. Okay, now I can go on and on about cuticle care, but let's talk about another really big issue that I have with electric files, especially for those who are using it to remove product. Um, I know, I like I promise you, I totally sympathize, empathize, I know what a pain in the ass it is to soak off gel. But using an electric file to completely remove product from the nail bed, in most cases, ends up damaging the nail plate because they're shaving well beyond the nail plate. They're taking some of those layers off. A lot of clients, if uh, this is happening to you, you'll notice because your fingers come out feeling sore. And if it's really excessive, the amount that they file down, then even the tips of your finger on the opposite end of your nail, okay? So even the tips of your finger are gonna be so sensitive just touching things, it's gonna take a few days for that sensation to go away. A big thing, and I do wanna at least give credit to those that are using the right nail bits. The big thing is that most people don't use the right nail bits. They get this little sanding one here, and this is what they use for everything that they do on the nail. And not only that, but they use the same one all day long. I don't know how many times I've seen that and it drives me crazy, it's so unsanitary. But they just kind of rely on one drill bit and it'll remove whatever it is that they want, but it doesn't mean that it's gonna be the best thing. And if you're getting every single two to three weeks, your product is 
getting filed off completely, you're never going to give your nails an opportunity to strengthen. And it can cause even more serious issues and infections if it becomes really excessive. Not only that, but if your nails are that thin, nine times out of 10, they bend, your gel will start peeling and cracking, then you'll end up sitting there and peeling it off. So you already have a thinned out nail bed and now you're peeling your gel off, you're definitely not doing yourself any favors. Now, if you are a nail technician that uses electric files and you're having any of the issues that I talked about, just take a look at what it is that you're doing. A lot of times it's just a matter of something that you're used to. Maybe you went to a shop where that's just the way things were, but it doesn't necessarily make it right. And whether you work for yourself or you're working with someone else under you know their direction or in their shop you should really care about the quality of your work because at the end of the day it's your job if you really want to make this a lifelong career opportunity you want to make sure that your clients are sticking with you that you're having great results and sometimes just simply misusing an e-file could be the reason for the issues that you're having so I hope guys that this video was informative and again, please just know that this is just the way I do things and what's brought me success with my clients and what makes my clients super happy and I just want to make everyone happy. So um, I'm only sharing what works for me in hopes that it could help you do things a little bit better if you're having any issue or if it can give you a different outlook or uh, you know, just a different view on how to do things. So thank you again everyone for tuning in. I really appreciate you coming and viewing my little channel. Um, if you haven't already subscribed, please do so. The link is right there. You already know where it is. Um, make sure you subscribe. Make sure you like. Make sure you share, especially with all your nail tech friends. Um, and I would really love to hear from anyone that has any questions or concerns. Uh, just reach out to me on my Instagram. Best way. If you don't have the link, it's going to be down below. But you should already be following me, just saying. And um, I guess for today, we're all done. So thank you so much for tuning in. I'm going to catch you guys later on in the week with something super awesome. And I'll see you soon. Bye. Thank you.